you know, I was really confident. I knew that it was just a matter of time. We got into that, that magic hour. As soon as that sun hit the water, it was just a matter of time before those tarpon moved in and ate. Oh, there he is. Oh, what a bite. He nice missed it, though. bite. Holy Did you see cow. that? Oh, he Look missed it that. again. As the darker it gets, the more aggressive those bites are going to be. He won't miss it once it gets dark. There he is. Got him. Got him. Nice job, Tom. Whoa, look at him go. Nice fish. Still got him? Yeah. Yes. Look at that guy. That is a shark. That is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Woo! I thought you said you had to... Okay, relax. Oh, dude, he just ripped my boat off. Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. Nice time of day to be out. I love leaving this time of day when the, it's starting to cool off after a hot day. And the fish, you know, if the tarpon haven't been biting during the middle of the day, they'll usually bite right at sunset really well. Right. You know, so this is something that I just do all the time, whether we, you know, earlier in the year we fish live mullet a lot. And you know, we'll try some live mullet tonight as well, but crabs have been hot lately. Uh, you like to drift those crabs. And uh, on this big outgoing tide, these uh, crabs get flushed out, and the tarpon um, can just go crazy on them. You might see the crabs flushing out and actually coming up and popping on them. Uh, we'll try some of that. And then, and then if we get lucky, um, here at the end of this tide, we could get that worm hatch happening. And um, I've hit that a lot of times when I'm out on these just regular charters. Um, so I uh, started experimenting with all kinds of different little you know, rubber worms and things. And um, this one thing that I saw that worked really good is just taking a, a, a gulp shrimp nipping his tail off and he looks <laughs> it looks pretty much like a worm there yeah it um, really does so i didn't even realize that's what it was when i first got on the boat you said that's the rig I, yeah i was looking at it and yeah. it didn't didn't seem like a shrimp to me that's right well i just shrimp without a tail and cut his whiskers off cut his whiskers off huh yeah all right well let's go see if we can find it we'll run down let's run down if to nothing the, uh, else we're gonna have a beautiful afternoon that's right we're gonna run down to the east end of the bridge for drift crabs all right this is absolutely one of my favorite things to do, fishing in the evenings for the tarpon. All spring long, and even into the summers, you got the, the big tarpon are here. If, they're, if they don't bite during the day, they will bite at night. And the sunset trip gives you the opportunity, to, probably the best opportunity to catch one, and you also get out there on a time of day where the weather's you know cooling off a little bit. You get to watch the sunset. It's just a beautiful experience, and then and then it, yeah, absolutely best time. If they don't bite, you know, in the first couple hours of the trip, they're gonna bite when that sun hits the water. Right, and you know, this is this is a great place to do it. You know, there's two places that, that I know of in the Keys that are really close to the major tarpon areas. Right here at Hogs K, where we can just run to one of the bridges that's nearby. I mean, we can be there in just a minute. You know, you don't have to worry about navigation necessarily. So this is a perfect place because there is nothing you know, between here and there, necessarily. We just go out in the afternoon. If the bite's on, you can stay right on into dark, which is exactly what we did on that particular day, and not have to worry about the navigation. Just take a wide path around the flats, back in quickly to the resort, and, you know, you have some great sunset fishing. Well, that there's two reasons why the sunset is probably our most popular and most consistent trip. One is the tarpon bite at night, no matter what they're going to feed at night. They might not, there's thousands of fish around. They, they might be stacking these channels. You might be able to walk that bridge and see just hundreds of thousands of fish across that Long Key Bridge, but they might not bite. But at night, they're going to eat. And then the other thing that, that it's a really big factor, we can go early in the morning, but sometimes you, you got to catch live bait. During the day, um, a couple of the guys go around, they catch these live mullet for us, and we always have a good supply of live bait in the evening. So you got the live bait, the fish are going to bite, you know, it's a high percentage. Definitely a tarpon after me. Oh, he missed it! Wow, good bite. You I'm hear that? He's gonna crashing. get it again. Come on, baby. Like, He's after it again. He just missed it. Big swirl. But you hear that pop? Boom! They just, they just hooked up right there, too. Starting to happen. All right, he's on me again. Same place. Oh, there he is. Oh, what a bite! He nice missed it, though. Bite. Holy did you see cow. that? Oh, he Look missed it that. again. Come get on, him. get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. How did he miss that? His whole body came out of the water. Try dropping yours back there. You got a little smaller one on. The tarpon biting a mullet is one of the best bites in all of fishing. 
I love it right here at sunset, man. It's, it's uh, you know, like, as the darker it gets, the more aggressive those bites are gonna be. He won't miss it once it gets dark. There he is, got him. Got him, nice job, Tom, whoa, look at him go. Nice fish, still got him? Yeah. All right, I'm dumping the anchor. Okay. Nice fish, man. Oh, he might have, no, I got him. Good job, buddy. That's awesome. Nice jump. Awesome fish. Woo! Sunset bite, man. Nice job, man. Kind of green. Look at that big boy. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nicely done. How about that? The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Mercury Marine. Lowrance, makers of HDS, high definition systems. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. And by Loadmaster, Power Pole, Corrosion Block, Ocean LED, and Tough Line. It's interesting the way we, we set up at, at the Lonky Bridge is, is just right in the arch of the bridge. It's perfectly set up right in the middle of the arch. So you've actually got shade, which is kind of nice in the afternoons. You can sit back there, tuck in the shade. You got the breeze coming at you. You're in the shade. It's just it's very pleasant. And then you're also in a strategic spot for the fish because the fish are feeding down tied to that bridge. And so we're sitting there. We're in the shade. We put our we put our mullet out, and those mullet are able to sit right in that current, swim against it. You know, I talk about this all the time. All the different types of fishing we do. A live mullet bite. When you got a two-pound mullet out there, and you can feel him get nervous and you're looking right there, right on the surface, 30, 40, 50 yards behind the boat, you can clearly see this giant 100-pound fish leaping out of the water, his big bucket mouth going boom and just missing it. And your, your, your adrenaline's pumping, you know you're going to get a bite. It's so exciting. You talk about you know guys that like a topwater fish for bass or redfish or anything, they love to see that topwater strike. There he is. Got him. Got him. Nice job, Tom. Whoa, look at him go. Nice fish. Still got him? Yeah. All right, I'm dumping the anchor. Boom, you hooked up. As soon as you hooked up, that guy just shot out of the water, backflip, went crazy. And uh, that's the situation where you got to drop the anchor. So I went up there and threw the anchor while you were fighting nice. the fish. Spun the boat around. And, and down tide of the bridge, it's very simple because the current's going to push you out. But, you know, with that current going out that fast, the fish can take all the line off your reel in, in a short amount. Of time. Yeah. That's a nice fish. I wonder if that's the same one that was after mine or what. <laughs> Missed my bait three, four times, and you, you slide it back and hook him. Nice. Oh. Nice jump. I don't think that's as big as the one I had on. Of course you don't. Of course, I think he's bigger. He's going to do it again, maybe. That's an awesome time of day to be out, man. Temperature's cooling. Good time, man. You can do whatever you want all day long. Slide out here for three, four hours in the evening. Catch some of these big 100-pound tarpons. It's fantastic. Here he comes. Whoa! Ooh. That's a good one. The big tarpon. <laughs> Nothing better than the big tarpon. Out of all the fishing that I've, I've gotten to do down here, that is my favorite trip and the favorite hour of the day. If, if, you know, I know you did early mornings every day. You yep. were out there real early, early didn't morning, do yeah. as many sunset trips. But me, I, I would sleep in or I would um, take a day off or whatever, but I would never miss that sunset. I was out there for those sunset trips every day. And, and even now, you know, when I have an opportunity, you know, if I got to, you know, whatever I have to do during the day, if the kids are in school, any, anything during that time of year, I'm asking mom, hey, uh, can we go sunset fishing? And it's an easy, it's an easy um, sell to mom. And she's, she's like, sure, you know, because she likes to be out there. Whether she's fishing or not, she's going to watch the sunset. The kids are going to see some cool stuff. And I know that that's going to be our best opportunity of the entire day to hook a big tarp. Oh, it just got off. Woo! Nicely done, my man. Nicely done. That was cool. That's all we needed out of him. Good job, man. That's all we needed out of him. Very nice. He, uh, well done. Yeah, he, he opened that hook just a little bit. Nice job. Bro. Just a little bit. I'm going to put a freshman on. Very nice. So much of my fishing in the Florida Keys revolves around the trolling motor. So much so that it's been a problem in the past because we'll kill the trolling motor batteries in the course of a day. It's frustrating because we've got more places we want to fish, 
but the trolling motor batteries are dead. Well, we figured out a way to fix that this year, and one of the ways that we do that is to always go with the biggest trolling motor that we can find. Now, Motor Guide makes the 36 volt Great White, and that's the one that I choose. It's very efficient, and it'll help you conserve your battery power, but it'll also be able to pull a big boat wherever you want to go. Now, the other thing that we'll do is we put a stealth charger onto these boats to where that will pull volts from your motor while you're running and come up and charge your trolling motor batteries. Now that's important because what we do in the Florida Keys a lot of times is we'll go out and try to catch either the pilchards or the mullet in the morning before we go fishing. And in order to do that, we have to chase the bait around and sometimes I'm operating the trolling motor on high for an hour, maybe even two hours before we go fishing. Now, it's kind of funny because we'll catch the bait, but then you've killed your trolling motor, so you can't actually do the type of fishing that you wanted to do. The stealth charger is gonna help us by, by charging up while we're running. So if we, if we get a little bit low while we're catching bait, make a long run to the fishing grounds, we can top those batteries off and have a full charge for our fishing. Now, another way that you can maximize the life of your battery is simply to pay attention to the way that, that you maintain your batteries. Now, in the yellow fin, We've got two, two compartments here. We can store our tackle on top and we can store the batteries in a second compartment underneath. And that's cool because if your batteries are up high and you've, you're storing your tackle or coolers or whatever, you may inadvertently reach in there, pull and maybe pull on some connections, loosen them up a little bit, which is gonna affect the performance of your trolling motor. In this boat, there's a second compartment underneath, which when we open that up, you can see that the batteries are underneath. Now, I'll pick the biggest batteries I can find. I'm not worried about weight in the bay boat. Pick the biggest, best batteries I can find. And I'm gonna check the connections every week or so. I'm gonna make sure that they're clean, make sure that they're tight. And that, in itself, is gonna help your performance on your trolling motor as much as anything. We also have an onboard charging system on the boats. So when we come in from the day of fishing, we're gonna plug that into to a, an extension cord. It's gonna top off the trolling motor batteries, but also the house batteries. And that's gonna mean that in the morning, we're gonna be able to run our live wells, we're gonna be able to start our engine, everything's gonna be topped off and full so we can go out and catch that bait in the morning. Now, I love the trolling motor. It's made a huge difference in my fishing. I know it makes a lot of difference to a lot of people. Use these tips to preserve the battery life in your vessel, be able to catch more bait, be able to catch more fish. As the sun started to go down, I wanted to go check this other spot because what happens every day, once that sun gets high in the morning, the fish leave the shallows and kind of come into those big channels and they just lay on the bottom all around those bridges. It's kind of their, uh, you know, just safety zone during the day. And then as soon as you get about an hour from sunset, the fish will start to move away from the bridge, especially on that outgoing tide. They start moving into the bay, feeding out into the bay. And as that sun hits the water, usually they're out, out, out a certain distance from the bridge actively feeding. And I like to switch at that point from the mullet to the crabs. Um, for, for, for a couple of reasons, mostly because it's such a good hookup percentage. But um, with a crab, unlike the mullet, we saw how, how they, they bust and miss it, and it's an exciting bite, but you, you have a very poor hookup percentage. But on the crab, they eat it, you pretty much got them. Yeah, and I'll tell you, man, it's getting later and later. That's the magic time. That's the magic hour. And, and at that time, you know, you can see that really hits home as to how fast the sun is actually going down. So we were able to stay a little bit longer because in that magic time, if you've got navigational problems or you're not, you're not confident that you could get out of that area, you gotta leave before it starts to get dark. That's right. And on that day, we were able to say, hey man, no problem getting home, it's gonna be really easy. Let's, let's go ahead and, and stick this out. Look at that sunset, man. It's awesome. Might even see the green flash. You watch that sun go all the way down past the horizon. A lot of people say there's a green flash. Boop. Look like a flash bulb <laughs> go off. Some people say it doesn't exist. It's another urban myth. I've seen it. That's a good one there. Look at the wits. That's sick. I can tell. I can see why this is the most popular trip in in the guide service. Now, people are always asking, you know, what what the best time to catch a tarpon is. I always recommend the sunset trip. Yesterday? Is that what you're telling mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm keeping my eyes on it the whole time. I'm not even going to blink. Let's see what happens. I don't believe in the green five, flag. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Green flash. Maybe not. There was a little frizzle there. <laughs> yeah. You see that? I'm, I'm not a believer in the green flash. At least that I was, haven't that seen. was just a little tiny, little tiny greenness yeah. there. I think that's from the, the, the Key West. Maybe you see it down in Key West. I haven't seen it here. You know, I was really confident. I knew that it was just a matter of time. We got into that, that magic hour. As soon as that sun hit the water, it was just a matter of time before those tarpon moved in, 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 in eight. And then right after that, there you go. Here he is. Real, 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 real. You got him? Nice job, Tom. That's going to be a Sunset big fish. Oh, there he's jumping. Nice. Nice. Sunset tarpon. <laughs> awesome, man. Was that the crab? Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm going to go right after you. Tell me to change it. <laughs> Never listen to me. All right, I'm going after it. Hold on. Wow, man. Check that out. He is just dumping this reel. He's jump way out there. That's a huge fish, too. That yeah, was a the, big fish. Yeah, it was fun and cool, and it was jumping everywhere. And, you know, any time that, that it's beautiful like that, you know, it, it's a special time to be out because your fish is jumping into the sunset and beautiful colors all around. and just really makes it, makes it spectacular. He jumped my reel, man. Yeah, he took a lot of line, huh? Took so much. About 100 feet away. Awesome, man. What did I tell you? Right at sunset. Yeah, you're right. You called that one. All right, looks like we're getting around him a little bit. Go the other way. You got him right to the leader there, don't yeah, you? That's the leader. He's going to jump, wow. probably. He didn't like that. Must be a pretty big fish. You give, you give me one hour in the evening like this, that's all I want. Favorite hour of the day. When Rich and I decided we were going to build a 36 yellow fin, we decided we were going to have underwater lights on it. There's a lot of different underwater lights that are available, so I spent a lot of time looking, trying to figure out which one we were going to choose. Underwater lights do a lot for us. They're going to attract small fish to the boat, which in turn is going to attract the predators. Fishing in Key West Harbor at night, I love to take my kids out and have them be able to see all around the boat. It's really cool. Whether your kids are fishing or not, it's gonna help you to get them on the boat and experience fishing. So I love the underwater lights for that application. In looking around for underwater lights, I determined I needed to find the most durable, best underwater light possible, and I came upon Ocean LED. Ocean LED is the best quality underwater light that I've found. And when I went to order the ones for the boat, I also found that they offer fixed lights for the dock. So we went ahead and installed those on our dock at Hawks K, and it is an attraction just like a ride at an amusement park. Parents, families, kids, everybody's out on that dock watching the tarpon, the jacks, the bait fish come up to the lights in the marina, and it's really, really cool. So whether you're looking for fixed lights for your dock or waterfront property, or underwater lights for your boat, or spreader lights to illuminate the deck, Ocean LED makes the best quality light on the market. There are a lot of competitors out there. Be very careful about who you choose. Check out Ocean LED. Think you're going to find that they make the best quality, most reliable product on the market, period. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Finor, legendary tackle since 1933. The Florida Keys in Key West, come as you are. Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Motor Guide, never stop. By Sirius Marine Weather, satellite weather direct to your boat. And by Under Armour, King Sailfish Mounts, Stabil, Scott Fly Rods, and Plano. There's the leader. There's your cork right there. He's real close. He's... There he is. Yeah, that's a big boy. It's a big fish. That's Look what at I that thought. sucker. Thought he was gonna be a big one like that. Nice job, oh. man. Well done. Right to the boat. Oh, under the boat. Let me back up. Going for the sun, right where the sun set. Good man, you got the leader on. You got him caught. Alright, there he is. You know, I could tell right away immediately. It's a big fish. I wanted to see that fish, and I was worried about it, man. I was worried about being able to see that fish because it's getting darker and darker and darker and I'm thinking I'm going to finish this fight. It's going to be dark. Not going to get to see how big this fish is. I'm just going to have to, you know, feel him. And we just got the ocean LEDs on the boat 
turn them on and there's a blue cast all around the boat, which is just cool and eerie all at the same time. It's really cool. But I was, I was really impressed at, at what that added to the entire experience for me. Kind of Look at that big boy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Nicely done. How about that? Yes, sir. Look at that big Hold on tarpon, tight. man. Whoa. Well done, Tom. It's awesome, cool with man. those lights, man. That is very cool. I'm going to take that cool. hook right out of his mouth. Nice circle hook there. Nice. How about that, man? Sunset tarpon. Thanks for taking me to your honey hole. <laughs> Look at that big that mouth. That is really cool. Here, watch you bump the boat forward. I'll, I'll revive him a little bit and then let okay. him go. You pull that fish up into that into that blue light, and I don't know, man. I I mean, it's one of those times in fishing that that image is burned into my my memory. I mean, I I just remember you pulling that up and seeing the way that his scales were and everything, and how wide he was. He was a big fish. Big fish. I, and I had both of my hands on him. I could barely hold him. Okay. There he is. Sweet. There well. he goes. Woo! Nice. Well done, brother. Good job. Well done. Let's go get something to eat. Yeah, man. That's awesome. awesome. That is my favorite thing in the I world. I can tell. Right I there. can see why, man. That's a beautiful time of the day, man. You got to see that beautiful sunset, a couple of good bites. That's all you can ask for right there, man. Accommodations provided by Hawks Cay Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Closed captioning provided by Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea.